If you've ever wondered what intensity of ProDry the Doberman has, well, that's exactly what we're going to be looking at today. Every breed has a prey drive. The question is how much and to what degree can it be diverted? That's precisely what we're going to find out in today's video. Welcome back to the Doberman channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Doberman. Then, how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Doberman. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Doberman, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Doberman video. So, let's dive into today's video and we'll find out what kind of prey drive this sleek and powerful canine has. Canines are by nature predators. No matter how different they are now from their wolf ancestors, every modern breed has some prey drive, but some breeds have a lot more or less than others. And each individual in a breed is different. A lot of breeds' prey drive stems from their original working role, energy, playfulness and guarding instincts. With that in mind, let's take a closer look at the powerful Doberman and see what kind of prey drive you can expect this breed to have. The Doberman we know today was developed by a German tax collector in the 1800s who wanted an imposing canine to accompany him on his rounds. In addition to being the town taxman, he also ran the local pound where he started breeding his perfect guardian from a mix of a black and tan terrier, German pincer, rottweiler and other smooth coat herding breeds. The Terrier and Pincer lines have more prey drive than the Rottweiler and the other herding breeds, but the prey drive wasn't encouraged in breeding the Doberman. When they're raised with and taught the appropriate behaviour around livestock of any size, Dobermans can appear to have almost no prey drive. Like I mentioned a moment ago, all canines have some prey drive and it varies between breeds and individuals, and Dobermans are no exception. One of the best things you can teach a Doberman is a reliable recall and the leave it command. For their own safety and for when curiosity gets the better of them. And of course, keeping them out of situations where they're set up to fail. Part of what made the Doberman's ancestor an effective taxman guardian and has also allowed him to be a very effective modern day military and police canine is their energy and devotion. You'll find the modern Doberman still has one of the highest energy levels of any breed and is often considered one of the most intelligent. They're also quite protective of their family, which makes any strange animal fair game for inspection. They might simply be curious about a new creature, but with over 80 pounds of muscle and teeth coming at them, most small animals are going to bolt. From there, instincts kick in, and the Doberman's both fast and agile enough to catch just about anything they set their minds to. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home, or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you over on that course. As I mentioned before, when Dobermans are raised with potential prey like cats, chickens, and rabbits, they appear to have a minimal prey drive. That's not to say, given the right set of circumstances, that they wouldn't go after something they wouldn't usually bother with. Even though Dobermans are highly trainable and excellent family guardians, it's best to keep an eye on them around small animals, even after their puppyhood. You can direct their playful puppy energy to obedience training in games. Just be mindful of the games you choose. You might want to avoid things like flirpal until they're older and established around small prey animals since this activity taps directly into their prey drive. Frequent obedience work is a great way to build up this relationship and you can check out my course shop which includes a puppy training course and a boot camp training course that's perfect for canines of all ages. Being a guardian breed with high level energy means Dobermans can be quite reactive, especially if you have more than one or other dogs in the home. Allowing too much rough housing or depending on other dogs to work off the Doberman's energy is a recipe for disaster. Dobermans can and will think for themselves, and their large size means they're more reactive to rougher play well past the time that they're fully grown. They also form deep family bonds, making them effective guardians and helping them excel at protection work in a professional capacity. 
Some Dobermans will be more reactive to a situation while others may be more proactive. And either way, it's vital they see you and every member of your family as their canine leader. While they won't see you or your family as prey, they can get overexcited when playing and it's critical that anyone who is home with them are able to control them in any situation. The Doberman genuinely has a low to moderate prey drive once they reach maturity, but this will vary between individuals. You want to introduce them to any small animals in your home at the youngest possible age so that they grow up seeing them as part of their family. Always supervise their interactions with potential prey animals or make sure there are plenty of secure places for the smaller animal to get to if you'll be a step away. Most Doberman owners never have a problem, but I can't stress enough, these are large, powerful canines that must have a calm, consistent leader. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comment section below. And don't forget, if you're new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Doberman videos coming here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Doberman channel.